sound? Okay. Can everyone hear me? No sound. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Marianne. <laughs> well, we gotta keep Shelby straight. She forgot to turn the sound on. So I could have. So. I, I see I did it because on camera. It was hot. <laughs> oh, she wow. might have said a little blooper word that, but we can look. No. Good thing the mic was not on. <laughs> so if you can hear me, will you let me know, please? <laughs> And um, I am Chrissy with the Windswept Cowboy. <laughs> we'll start all over again. And I have Shelby here working the computer. Hello. <laughs> she, apparently she's a little rusty. Yep, <laughs> apparently. And I also have Kyla here too. She's helping Shelby. Hello. <laughs> oh, yay. Now she can do this. Okay, us. good. Yay. Well. So, um, in the beginning, I was saying our internet is kind of iffy again today, so hopefully it will go smoothly for us. And what we're doing today is I have some copper scrap pipe that I wanted to use up. And I'm Hold making on. these. We're at like zero frames per second. One, three. Okay. It's going a little bit better faster now. All right. All right. Goodness. Maybe we can do this quickly for you guys okay. so you can see. Oh, is... nope. Now we totally lost signal. <sighs> I'm so bummed. This is stupid. Loud and clear. That's well, I'm clear. glad someone can hear us. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we might be back. Oh, man. This. Oh, no. Nope, now it's dropping again. Wow. All right. If you guys can watch us. If you can see us, let us know if we're lagging or not, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, video lagging. There, Anne just told me. Mm. Dang it. Um, what do we want to do? I you am... know what? I am recording this. Okay. So we are actually recording this, and I can put it up as a video once we're through this live. So if it doesn't work really good for you here, check back, and it should be up as like a, a regular video without the lagging. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I mean, we have great equipment. I mean, you're only as good as your internet, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, basically. And I live out in the middle of nowhere in Casper, Wyoming, which is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we don't have in a lot the of options. Of the middle of nowhere. Yes. Not a lot of options out here. So we're kind of stuck with what we get. And we try to make the most of it. So hopefully we're up and running right now. Well, I do want to try something new before you get too started, okay, is I want to start doing a question of the day. Oh, that's right. So everyone, comment down below your answer to this. So the question is, would you rather win a vacation or win a car? What do you say, Mom? I picked a car. Yeah? I mean, that's you can use it longer. That's true. And you may be able to help somebody else out with it. And if I really wanted to go on a vacation after I won my car, I can always sell my car <laughs> Pay for and the then vacation. go on vacation. <laughs> See, and I would pick the vacation. Yeah. I'd rather have an experience. What about you, Kyla? <laughs> Put on the spot. Mm. I think I'd probably also go with the vehicle. Vehicle? All right. Well, I'm outnumbered. But yeah, I'll leave that up for a little bit. So if you guys want to answer, that's our question of the day. And yeah, let's get into the DIY. I do want to say hi to Esther and hi to Carol, too. Thanks for joining yes, us, hello, guys. hello. Welcome. Yes. We are making this hose guide, and if any of you have priced them, you can get cheap ones for a couple of dollars, but they're very, very plain Jane, nothing that you can customize. And the expensive, or you can get like $8 ones that are cute, like frogs or whatever. But I have all this leftover copper pipe, and I am a copper fan. So I decided to make one out of copper. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna measure for, well first, I found some random rebar that I had in my garden shed. So I didn't have to go out and buy anything. I didn't even have to cut it. So I was good there. And then of course I have the copper. Oh, I lost the stream again. All right, we're still recording still though. Still going. Yes. Yep. So I am going to make mine six inches and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it because this does not have to be perfect and I'm going to use my pipe cutter to cut the copper pipe and I will probably, let's see, right there, that's good. Aha! Oh yes, that's a good point, Carol. Yep. Taxi, a lot of family. 
Absolutely. All right, so how you work these is once you get the little blade tightened with this handle, then you just start moving this around and it gets looser. So you tighten it and then twirl again. I do like two and then I'll tighten again and do a couple more. Tighten. And there's the AC so if you can hear it. <laughs> and then you just keep going around until that blade cuts through your pipe, just like that. And there we go. Perfect. These are great. You can cut all sorts of tubing with this. And I do lots of tubing crafts, so this is a must for me. Yes, we have used that a lot. All right. The next step that I did was, I believe I went to Menards. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted something decorative for the top. And so I went to like the, the little um, cabinet pole area and I found this and it kind of reminded me of a sunflower. Here, let me show you. There we go. Yeah, super cute. But it wasn't, it, it was a dollar, right? Yeah, it was 99 These cents. Were, yeah, 99 cents. This particular one is called American Diner, and it's like an inch and a half across in diameter, and it looked like a flower. But it wasn't the thickness that I really wanted because it would lay flat. Oh, yeah, like that's that. not cute. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted something upright. So to accomplish that, <laughs> I went and rummaged in my husband's hose barb collection. <laughs> you know, everyone's got one of those. Yeah, and I, I found one. That word is. <laughs> it's, these are just like plastic. Hey, you want to show it up? Yep, here is what one, this one looked like. That. It's there, yeah. And I ended up cutting off this skinny part right here. Okay. And I used that with a serrated knife which I have right here. And so I just sliced that off right there. Oh, gotcha. And then that's what gave me that. I had tried a hacksaw, I had tried a, um, an X-Acto knife type thing, and those did not work as good as little kitchen serrated knives. Ah, so save yourself. Use yes. the easy thing. <laughs> Do the easy thing. The next step that I did was I wanted to put this piece together before putting it into my tube because it was easier to get the screw in there. And I found these little fender washers that I have right here. And there I'll you read go. you off. They, this one is 5 30 seconds by 7 eighths, I think. I don't know. That's too much math for me. I opened the package right on the words. Nice. Good job. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think it was 7 eighths. 5 30 seconds by 7 eighths. The reason why that's kind of important is because you don't want this part to go through that hole. Uh, but you also don't want it to be fatter than the diameter pipe. of your pipe. Aha. Uh -huh. So. You can use whatever size pipe you want. This one is three quarter inch. You can use half inch, which I have too, but I just wanted something a little fatter. <laughs> and Anne said, OMG, this is so funny. When it freezes, her looks are so funny. <laughs> I bet. You should see the thumbnails that we have to go through <laughs> to put one up on the videos. Yeah, we're like, oh gosh. Glad I could be funny. <laughs> yeah, just, um. Hang with us, guys, and yeah. we'll put the recording up, which I am assuming is not going to be lagging. So we'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so I took this, and I had to get a smaller machine screw because the ones that came with the knob pulls were just a little too long for this setup. So what is that? It is a half-inch machine screw. Will you put it up? There you go. And they're, they're like flat bottoms. Okay, me too. Not the point. <laughs> I don't know technical terms. I mean, I know it's a machine got screw. A I got a flat bottom too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a fat bottom, not a flat bottom. <laughs> so I'm going to put it up into the whole side and then up through that hole. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. 
Then I'm going to put my washer on there, and then my knob. Oh, okay. I was wondering how you did that. Yeah. Wow. And then just tighten that up. Nice. And there you go. There's your little stopper. Cute. I and wonder if that would work with a wine bottle. A oh, wine I don't bottle. Know. Yeah. You don't. I, I have corks here too that oh, I yeah. do want to show you. If you don't want to go this route and they're only temporary or whatever, you could actually like put a little rubber, rubber, well, rubber one would probably work better than the cork. <laughs> a little cork stopper in there. And that works too. All right, now comes the loud part. I have to oh, hammer. Oh, okay. I'm going to try and turn down the mic then. Yeah, I'm going to forewarn you, I do have to hammer. Okay, uh, just bit. tell me right before you go and I'll turn it down a lot. Okay, so I'm going to put this up on top, but the threads are just a little too thick still, so I am going to hammer this guy down in there. Okay, I'm turning down the volume. Alright, you're back up to volume now. You right. see her world, Chrissy. <laughs> I know. Well, you should see the hole that it put in the wood. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. I was hammering on that side. So don't do that on your countertop. No. The count my countertop is fine. I did the first one out in the garage on a metal table. So I mean I would recommend that actually, but um, This works in yeah. a pinch. And it will like rip off some of your threads. They'll be like hanging. So I just pull them off. That's it. <laughs> and there you go. Awesome. Yeah. I did do some painting and some cleaning up, but this part is going to be into the ground. And then you're going to put your hose guide <laughs> over. They're laughing at me behind no, the camera. No, of course not. It's at the hammering <laughs> spot on the video. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't even like, look like you're hitting it, what we're seeing, because it's lagging so much. It's just you up in the air with your oh, hand waving. But it worked. It worked, <laughs> yes. All right, so what I did next was I took some scotch Brite and I cleaned up my copper. So if you can see how dirty it is currently. Yes. And then the scotch Brite really works nice. Yeah, that's one of my favorite tricks. Yes. It works really good on the curtain rod, rods, um, or not curtain rods, the rods that you put in like your closet to put hangers on. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That would be really pretty too. Well, Chrissy did that with my guest room. Oh, yes. If you have an old metal hanger in your closet, use that to make it look nice again. Yep. And put some kind of weird paint on it. All right. I swear, then, people are just watching to see your what? lagging <laughs> faces. <laughs> nice. Okay, so like, see, that's so much so cleaner. Much cleaner. And that didn't take long at all. No, you saw how quick that was. Yeah. And then I decided I wanted this copper too. Yes. So, Obviously. Yes. I tried a sponge. Didn't really work that good. It's like fun house bears. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, you're killing me. I'll just sit here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't Try make your face. your face. No more faces. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so I just painted because that is like white plastic, but you can keep it there if you want. You know what? You don't even have to use copper. You could use any kind of little metal tubing, silver. Yeah. Whatever matches yep. your, your This look. is where you guys get to call the shots and you want to do something that matches your house. My, I should have brought in one of my hose guides. They oh, they're so are old. pretty pathetic. <laughs> and yeah, they, they needed refreshed. They're mismatched, they're broken, they're rusty. 
Oh, the rusty one I can repaint, which That's I probably true. will. But the other ones are like plastic and yeah. So I have the two coats on that particular one. And that's all there is to that. Yay! Make sure I'm smiling. Yeah. <laughs> I know, look how cute she is. <laughs> okay, so what you do, I know it's just a pot and potting soil, which does not hold as well as regular dirt, but you're just gonna put in your piece of rebar into the ground, and then your sleeve goes over it. Oh, awesome. And then you have your hose guides. Cute. No, I just need to buy a hose. Yeah, you just no, you need a hose. Hose. <laughs> hose not included. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, you can definitely customize them. Another little thing I was thinking of is maybe like go to the Dollar Tree or even Hobby Lobby or any place where they sell like the plastic toys, um, like starfish or anything that matches your decor, even a horse. You can spray paint them. Oh yeah, to match, and then you can just yeah. attach them to your posts, and then you have very unique <laughs> hose guys. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so those are just a few ideas. These are definitely going out in my yard. You know, I don't know if you guys have noticed a theme with all of my projects. It's usually something that I have wanted or needed. Yeah, in my house, <laughs> in my so yard. True. So I'm like, oh, well, I'll just share it with everybody in case you want or need that too. Yes. So. All right. Well, I'm glad that I could be um, made fun of. <laughs> <laughs> me too. So we make fun of me every single time we look at the thumbnails to try yeah. to pick one. <sighs> and, and I hope the video started going better. I'm not sure. No. Shelby's no. telling me no. But fingers crossed for the actual video when that gets uploaded. You guys can rewatch this and, and check out all the fun we're having. And I think that's it for today. Thank you all so very much for joining me. It means so much to me that you're here and interacting. And when I get off of here, I will go on and, and talk with you guys a little. And thank you so much. Go and have a great day and happy crafting. <laughs>